Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I'm going to show you all how to make this tea that I drink. Okay, so the first thing I must do is do a little disclosure. I possess a PhD, which gives me the title of doctor. This does not mean that I have any medical or dietary education or training to my name. Okay, I am suggesting today what to do is to research this for yourself and to talk to your own healthcare professionals about whether what I'm about to offer you today is actually suitable for you and something that you can incorporate into your own wellness. Okay, so first thing I've got is my saying pepper. Cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper, whatever you want to call it. I only buy the home brand, which is the generic versions of this stuff. Okay, you don't have to spend a lot of money on these things. Okay, here in Australia, this is only about a dollar fifty. Okay, and look how much you get. This is a tub of thirty grams. Okay, so let me first go into cayenne pepper. This um, provides beneficial comp plant compounds. Um, it's a fantastic source of antioxidants and other plant compounds that protect our cells and promote health. Um, it protects our heart, cayenne pepper, improves digestion, maintains a healthy weight, eases pain and, e and clears congestion in the tummy, etc. Okay, this also... Um, increases the heart rate so you've got to be careful with pepper okay because what happens is when we increase our heart rate like doing exercise this is how we get meta, um, um, metabolism builds up and that's what we need to lose weight so cayenne pepper cayenne pepper however you pronounce it it can actually make us lose weight okay next one that I've got is my ginger Here's my ginger, so you can see my ginger. Same again, it's only the home brand version, okay? $1.50 at Woolworths here in Australia. All right, what does ginger do for us? Ha, 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 ginger is amazing, okay? Oops, I'm just going here to online. Um, contains ginger oil, which has powerful medicinal properties, okay? It helps with digestion, nausea. It helps fight, fight flu and the common cold. Ha! Ah, um, no relation here to the C word, but it, um, if you know what I'm saying, okay? Okay, so it's also a bioactive, okay, um, which creates all these medicinal properties. Okay, powerful anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, Okay, you know what antioxidants do? They help with stress, anxiety, depression. So it all helps with that sort of stuff. It also takes away nausea that we get with morning sickness, etc. And it also um, decreases things like period pain. Helps with weight loss as well. Yes! Okay, also helps with osteoarthritis. Okay, it may drastically, now this is from healthline.com, may drastically lower blood sugars and improve heart disease risk factors. Oh my God. So this is straight from Healthline. Now I should have said it with my cayenne pepper. The one that I'm just doing there is just a simple Google, okay? It's the first result that came up when I did it. But this one is actually from Healthline for ginger. Now, the next thing it says here is it helps. Ginger is really good with chronic digest indigestion, okay? Um, wow. Uh, may significantly reduce menstrual pain. Oh, my God. You girls out there are going to love your ginger. Start eating it, okay? It may lower cholesterol levels. So it's good for heart health, right? Now, uh, it also contains a substance that may help prevent cancer. Okay. Uh, it's been studied as an alternative remedy for several forms of cancer. Now, why are they calling it alternative? You know, conditioning us to think that everything should be pharmaceutical with chemicals is not... The in my opinion, um, the best option here. So always check with your doctor, right? Um, 
It may prevent cancer. It improves brain function and protects against Alzheimer's disease. Ginger, okay, can fight infections. So this is where we go into all our oral bacterias, our gingivitis, periodontitis, okay, inflammation of gum diseases, respiratory syncytical virus, okay, respiratory infections, it helps with those, okay. Yeah, so how great is ginger? So I'll put that link to Healthline down in the bottom. The next thing I'm going to talk about today is my turmeric. Turmeric, okay. So is it good to take turmeric every day? This is from health at clevelandclinic.org. They say it's safe to take up to 8 grams a day. Now there's only 30 grams in this container. So that would be 15. So that would be about 7. So let's just say you've got to eat about that much of the container a day if you want to. Okay, so they're saying it's safe to eat up to 8 grams a day, which is about a quarter of this bottle. Oh my God. But my recommendation would be somewhere on the lighter side, 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day, okay? Says Hopshikwa, whoever his name is. Okay, so this is from healthcleveland.org. Okay, so is it good for taking turmeric? The only thing I do have to say here is um, if you're pregnant or you're breastfeeding, don't take it, okay? Um, now... This is from somewhere else. It says it's safe to eat foods with turmeric. Pregnant breastfeeding women should not take turmeric supplements because turmeric may act like a blood thinner. So again, this is really good for heart health. It actually stops, um, can aid in cholesterol, indigestional problems, and it's really good also for the common flu or the common C, if you know what I'm talking about, okay? Okay, so I'm going to put these links in the bottom of my video. So now the next ingredient that I'm going to talk about today is my honey, honey, honey. I've got my honey here. Now this is called Gimpy Macadamia honey. This is made up north from me. This is from a natural hive with no chemicals. This is where I get it from. Okay, this is pure Australian beekeepers honey. All right. It's straight from the hive. This is what I buy. So they label theirs with the gimpy macadamia. Okay, so I buy it natural from the hives. I go about half an hour drive away to get mine. Here in Australia, this is $12 for a kilo tub. Oh, my God. And the next thing today I've got is water. I have cold water and I also have hot water that I've just boiled before I started recording. So that's actually quite hot. And the last ingredient I've got here is my lemon. Okay, so I'm going to make... Oh, oh lemon, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I'm going to make a little stand here with my tissue boxes, okay? So the first tissue box I've got is my kookaburra box. I love buying... Wait, it makes me feel good when I buy tissues that have got little pictures on them. So here's our little kookaburra design on our tissues here in Australia. So I'm going to put them there. So they're up there. I need to go higher. So now I'm going to use my other brand of tissues here, which has got our um, Aboriginal artwork. And on the top it's a little paw prints. Oh, my God. You know, on the back it says, this is artwork is by... Christina, age 16, from WA. Okay, so they have a little story about who designed it. So she was 16, Christina is her name. So I'm going to put that up here as well to make my little stand. And now I'm going to put on my little cup so you can see what I'm putting into the cup. Okay, so I've sliced a thing of lemon, a slice of lemon, and it's only about that thick. So he goes in first. Actually, I won't put him in first because I want to dissolve the other stuff. Oh, my God. Okay, so... On my ginger, there's two lids. On the first lid, it's a shaker shaker. So you can sit there shaking if you want, shake, 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 okay? But ginger, it doesn't come out so good, okay? So I open up the other little flap and it's a little pourer. So what I do is I get my spoon, but your spoon won't fit in there, right? So I turn it around and I just put the spoon in there. So it brings out about, whoops, need more than that about I put in about that much okay so in that goes okay okay so it's just one little 
amount on the end of my spoon okay so you can see the ginger in there okay so it's like a little powder it's in there right then I do the same with my cyan pepper so I only use a little bit of this because pepper to me <laughs> causes my heartburn because that's the only issue I've got so I just put in a little sprinkle of that a little bit of sprinkle of my cyan pepper okay and then with my turmeric because it says it's not it's okay to take a quarter of the bottle a day which I don't do and so instead of shaking it out through the shaker shaker I open up the little back flap and again my spoon won't fit in there so I use the other end of the spoon like a little spoon and I pull out a good decent chunk and I throw that in there as well okay so all them aside just wipe my spoon down okay now this is boiling water I've just boiled it only about five minutes ago so I throw in some of this now because what I want to do now so you can see it's hot water I just want to really get all that dissolved together and it will go orange because that's the color of the turmeric okay look at the color of the turmeric dun, ba, da, dun. okay so in there I've got my saiyan pepper my ginger and my turmeric okay so I, I, I mash all that up together so it comes into a really good dissolvable form okay so now yum in my honey goes so take off my lid and in my honey I want to put in a good dollop because all this stuff is really tart so this really slows it all down so I put in one table two one teaspoon and then I go back and I always put in two okay so I put in two of those okay two of those go into the mix yum 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 mm, honey now so now I stir all that in as well to get it all into a paste yum 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 now I can get that yeah, put it there okay so now goes in my lemon chunk fill it up a bit more oh yeah yum 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 stir in the lemon and I really get that lemon in there to release all that yummy lemons into it so I just squeeze my lemon in there as well okay now that hot water is quite hot so now I get my cold water really stir it in to dissolve all that together someone was telling me the other day that um, what they do is they actually use coconut oil on the stove throw the turmeric into it so it forms a paste on the stove because when it's um, hot it releases when it's been boiled you know hot water etc it releases this like chemical extra chemical comes out of it so get rid of all my tissue boxes now so here's my concoction that I drink oh my god it's yummy mmm Oh, so divine. You know, if anyone said to me five years ago, I'd be drinking this instead of a daily coffee, I'd have gone, you're absolutely nuts. But, oh my God, this is just so tangy with the lemon and the pepper in it. But I'll tell you, with the sweetness from the honey and the ginger effect, geez, it's a lovely concoction. Please, before you do it yourself, make sure that you're going to be okay with it because everyone is individual if you've got any questions go and talk to your doctor about it and say hey is it all right for me to take this stuff but i drink it every day mm. it's, i love it <laughs> when i do my shows with mike cavalli on a wednesday night i drink this while we're having our show it really stops the um, inflammation in my throat listen to my voice now my voice just from two sips did you notice the difference I can notice it because my throat's not as sore now did you hear like a couple of minutes ago when I was talking my throat was really raspy let me have another one. Oh, that is so nice it tastes so nice who would have thought that I would have turned into a health nut it's funny how the universe puts us through these things isn't it you know so that's how I make it I hope you enjoy it be careful go talk to a doctor a real doctor medical doctor 
if you've got any concerns okay don't sue me if this doesn't work for you because I am not a medical doctor and I cannot stress that and I am not liable for giving out free advice it's your decision whether you do this and go and check it first before you do I've got to put that in there okay I'm not liable that's what I'm saying okay love you all take care of you you know we've got to stay healthy because next year it's going to be awful the way that I'm seeing it turning out it's going to be some real grief coming so we must stay strong and you know you look at the numbers now of heart problems people now with um, cancers all those numbers are going up why hopefully this sort of stuff keeps those numbers down that's why I'm sharing it take care of you guys I love you all I'll talk to you all soon